Good morning, everyone. Here is today's sunshine from Matthew chapter 14, verses 24 through 33. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Pastor Nelson will now share how Jesus helps. I'm looking at the United States Department of Transportation website. They report that in 2018, 2,841 people died because of distracting driving. Among those killed, the website says, 1,730 drivers, 605 passengers, 400 pedestrians, and 77 bicyclists all died because of distracted drivers. Someone looking at their text or talking on the phone, whatever, whatever it is. That's a terrible high price. And I hope you're not a driver who's distracted. But there's another price to be paid. Not distracted drivers, but distracted Christians. Christians who are distracted by all kinds of things, looking in all kinds of directions, except the one place we need to look at, and that's Jesus. Peter was one of those distracted followers of Jesus. Peter was brave. He stepped out in faith. He walked on water. Unbelievable. But then he became distracted by his surroundings, by the wind and the waves, by his own internal fear. And as soon as he was distracted, what happened? He crashed, crashed into the water. He began to sink in the middle of a storm. Jesus reached out his hand, though, to this distracted follower and pulled him back up. And what did Jesus say to him? Why did you doubt? O oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? He doubted because of his distraction, looking at his surroundings. So also for us, we can be distracted by good things, like family and jobs and sports and education. Or we can be distracted by bad things, like illnesses and financial issues and and, uh, feelings of being alone. As soon as we take our eyes off of Jesus, our faith begins to, to sink. Doubts begin to arise, and we've crashed. But the good news is, Jesus is still right there. He's reaching out his hand to lift us back up out and restore us and renew us, forgive us, and to love us. So how do we stop being a distracted Christian? Well, we we look to Jesus. We look to Jesus in his word. We look to Jesus in the sacrament of his body and blood given in the bread and wine. We look to Jesus in our worship and in our prayer. We look to Jesus in the person around us who is in need. And as we keep our eyes on Jesus, we're not going to crash. We're not going to be a distracted Christian. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, forgive us for so many times we look in other directions except at the the one who is needful for our lives. 
Now help us, O Lord, uh, to see the Savior, to fix our eyes on him, the author and perfecter of our faith. In his holy name, amen. Now may God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit keep you in his sunshine this day. Amen.